Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about my favorite single eyeshadows. My personal opinion on single eyeshadows at this point, um, I'm more about buying single stuff now because I have so many gosh darn palettes. I in the past would just buy palettes and palettes, 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 and then I found I don't use all the shades in the palette. So then I would want a certain shade and if I didn't see it in a palette, then I would reach in my single eyeshadow drawer and lo and behold, there she is. So these are all single eyeshadows that I think are absolutely worth buying. They're unique. They're great formulations. They're my favorites out of my entire collection of single eyeshadows. If you are new, welcome. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And if you enjoy yourself today, please let me know. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite Favorite single eyeshadows are give this video a like and let's roll right on into this the first eyeshadow oh my gosh oh my gosh you need this <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that a lot but truly these are my favorites and they're all a single eyeshadow that pairs well with other things or you can wear them as a standalone shadow and the first one is by Dior and this is their mono eyeshadow collection it's called Cosmopolite Oh my goodness, it's so buttery. I mean, I barely touched that. This is not, this is a great color just to wear all over the lid. It's great for any time of year. It's like this. Okay, so when you look at it closely and then you swatch it, it does have a very small amount of, say, like glitter type particles. Don't let that scare you if you don't like glitter. It's the most gorgeous, um, well done type of glittery uh, shadow. Now, I don't want to categorize it as straight glitter shadow because it's not, but I'm just letting you know it does have glitter in it. So if you buy it online and you're like, whoa, it's got glitter in it. It's not going to fall down on your face. It's the most flattering glitter. I'm telling you, glitter at nighttime, candlelit dinner, out dancing, like it's, it's so, it's awesome. It's awesome. I love this color. It pairs so well with so many things. It's a really beautiful shade. It's like a bronzy, goldeny, caramely, Oh, I want caramel right now. Um, delicious, delicious shadow. The formulation on this is bomb. Totally worth it. Dior Cosmopolite. Next, we have a NARS single eyeshadow. Or hardwired shadows or something. Remember, two, three summers ago, they released this shadow called Outer Limits. It's that formulation, and I went on this manhunt for it. Everybody, you couldn't find it anywhere in the U.S. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I legit called boutiques... I called stores within 100, like, I was crazy for it. I have it now. I have it. Um, anyway, so then they, last summer, added more shades to that particular formulation. And this is the shade Earthshine. Okay. Oh, and Stud. The shade Stud was also part of this. I didn't buy that because it, it was really similar to uh, a different shadow made by them also. Uh, but this is the shade Hardwired. If you are a fan of those icy, pinky colors... This almost has like a duochrome shift to it also. It is so stunning all over the lid. It's very brightening. Um, I find it looks great with like cool tone shadows or warm tone shadows. I myself like to wear it with like uh, purpley type looks or like a rosy mauve type look. If you don't have this shadow by Urban Decay, Urban Decay has a lot of single shadows actually. And they have some others that I've kind of eyed up maybe investing in. Um, but these are $19 a piece. I guess I didn't mention the cost. I think this is $29.50 and the NARS Hardwired is probably around $25 or more is my guess. NARS is a little spendy but so, you know, when you go to buy a single eyeshadow, you want to buy something you're really going to get a lot of use out of. So you're going to see a theme here with these. But these are a lot of the single shadows I buy, I buy in a lid shade because I use the most of a lid shade. Um, I like a really bright lid shade. I just, I don't know, I think it's worth the investment. So this is Midnight Cowboy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so once again, when you swatch this in the store, it has glitter in it, okay? But it's not, like, obnoxious. It's not overkill. It's this this one actually has similar undertones. Wow, I never I didn't realize that. Uh, similar undertones to the NARS one, but it's it's slightly more like a peachy champagne. Peachy champagne. So there's the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy, and then the NARS. You can see it just has the similar idea. I don't know if you can wear the Urban Decay wet. I don't know if that's a good idea, but the NARS ones you can. You don't want to wet shadows that are not supposed to get wet, or it will ruin them. I've done that. Next, I have a single shadow here from Laura Mercier, and I love, as a brand, as a whole, I think Laura Mercier is one of my favorite brands. It's just a really yummy shade, and I think it's definitely worth, It's it kind of reminds me of, oh, it's so gorgeous. It's so perfect for summertime. I love it. 
Next we have one from Le Métier, Le Métier Debuté. This is the only thing I have from them. And if you love taupes, then you need to get yourself this color. It's called Corinthian. This is a little bit more of like a purpley taupe color, I think. It's a really nice formulation, very creamy, glides on the eyes nicely. It's a subtle grayish purple undertone. Really flattering for blue eyes. I don't have any other color eyes to tell you how it looks on other shades, other eyes, but it's really lovely taupe color. Nice formulation. So if you like to do a lot of like cooler toned eyes, mmm. ColourPop. Oh my gosh, ColourPop. They took off and blew up and I bought like so, like this whole drawer right here is ColourPop. But the one that I reach for the most, it's my favorite shade that they've ever made. It's called Fringe. Um, ColourPop, these are really inexpensive, $5. However, keep in mind that you don't get a lot of product and the best method of application for these, this is their metallicized, um, that's my favorite one is the metallicized ones, um, is with your finger. So that can be a little bit messy. This is the most stunning lid shade ever. It's like, look at that. Oh, it is, it's my favorite. Now, I don't love their matte shadows. I find that they're really just cumbersome. They're really, I don't like their matte shades. They're really difficult to blend, but these are so gorgeous and so pretty all over the lid. The next one that I think is really cool, it's a great shade from this line. It's by Burberry. Burberry's packaging is exquisite. It's, you get what you pay for with this. It's very heavy. It's definitely a great item, like if you want to buy a gift for somebody, introduce somebody to a new brand or just, you know, something that I haven't tried. I love the Burberry shadows. These are so blendable, so easy to work with. This is the shade Midnight Brown. I love this shade. It's very unique. It's like a cool toned brown, but it has, I mean, this is, I mean, you want to talk about super pigmented and just gorgeous. It's a lovely brown shade. It's a little bit cooler of a tone, as I said, so it works great for like a smokier eye without being too dark. It's just, it's wonderful. These eyeshadows are lovely. And you can buy um, quads or, you know, it's like a compact with four shades by Burberry, but I really enjoy their singles. Another drugstore one that, I mean, it's just an absolute must have. It's Amber Rush by L'Oreal. The little infallible ones here look like this. If you don't, it's basically more of like a pressed pigment. This is like a summer must have shadow right here if there ever were one. So creamy to the touch. I find that you could definitely apply these with your finger all over your lid or wet uh, like a, a brush. I feel like they work the best when you have a damp brush, but I mean, look at that. It's like a coppery, ambery, gorgeous color all over the lid. I love this. Another shadow that works great, wet or dry, but really intensifies it when it's uh, wet. This is by Laura Mercier, her uh, Baked Eye Colors. This is the shade Black Carrot. It looks like this. Look how cool that is. It's such a unique shade. It has a black undertone, and there's like a ton of like glitter when you swatch it. But when you wet, it just basically turns into a metallic shade. Let's see where we got here. Just really fun. Really unique shade. It almost comes off as like an olive but when you darken it, it gets it gets deeper, but it has a ton of gold flecks and a black base. Maybe I should have wet my brush to show you, but it's so pretty. When you wet this, all the gold really stands out and then it creates just like a dark background. This is a great evening shadow. And my last one is by Clinique, and I feel like this is one of their staple shades. It's called Black Honey. If you like those warm, I love warm brown shades. Anything that kind of borderline is burgundy is one of my favorite shades to wear on my eyes, but this black honey color is so pretty. Really warm, chocolatey, with a hint of like coppery red. Oh, it's just beautiful. And the finish of it is a little bit more of like a satin finish, so it's really stunning. And these Clinique eyeshadows, I never hear very much about these, not a lot of buzz, but they have some pretty shades. I have three of them. I have a lavender shade and I have one that's called lemongrass. It's like a greenish color. But this black honey, you guys, it's so beautiful. So those are my favorite single eyeshadows, ones that I think are totally worth taking a gander at and purchasing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite single eyeshadows are because I will look at them and probably buy them. So thank you so much for watching. We will chat very soon. Bye guys.